a full documentary about big cats. Where in the world? For most people, Africa is the most closely associated with big cats. It is home to three of the world's most admired species, the lion, leopard and cheetah. But this modern-day distribution masks a rather more complex historical situation. The places where big cats are found today are not necessarily where they originated from. Perhaps the only true African among these three is the lion whose ancestors evolved here about 700,000 years ago. The leopard almost certainly first appeared in India, about 2 million years ago, and the origin of the cheetah are uncertain. What is known for sure is that all three species were once much more widespread. The leopard has retained the largest distribution and is still found throughout vast areas of southern Asia, the Middle East and Africa. But between 2 million and 10,000 years ago there were lions and cheetah in Europe, Asia and North America, as well as Africa. Lions Today, lions are restricted almost entirely to AFC Rika, south of a once Asian distribution as a tiny population of about 350 animals in the Gur forest of northwestern India. In Africa too, lions are mainly confined to game reserves and national parks. The total population is about 20,000. Leopard the leopard has the largest distribution of any cat, big or small, apart from the domestic cat. It is found throughout southern Asia from China west into the Middle East and Arabia. In Africa it is found in most areas south of the Sahara and also in two smaller populations in the north. Despite its vast range, the total population is probably fewer than 700,000. Cheetah the cheetah has the most restricted and vulnerable population of the African big cats. The West African population is highly fragmented and the only non-African population, which lives in Iran, is regarded as critically endangered. The total population stands at around 50,000. Habitats and prey the vast tracts of savanna grassland and semi-desert region of eastern, central and southern Africa are home to huge herds of grazing animals such as zebras, antelope and gazelles, which represent FOD on the hoof for lions, leopards and cheetahs. Life on the African plains is far from easy for the big cats that roam there. There is competition between them for prey, but each species has a distinct set of skills that allow it to turn certain situations to its advantage and overcome its rivals in the daily battle for survival and supremacy. Many of these physical behavioral characteristics and specialties have implications for the habitats each big cat copes with best. Despite the very different methods each of the African big cat uses to hunt, there are several play species that will tackled by all three. This include impalas, Thompson's gazelle and wildebeests. Lion will take much larger prey than the other two, and leopards take the widest variety, includes small animals, such as monkeys, rabbits and even beetles. Family tree The cat family has a long history, but the details of the group's evolution are vague. Early cats were forest dwellers and lived in a habitat that rarely provides the conditions needed to make fossils. Animals similar to modern cats roamed the forests of Eurasia and Africa about 20 million years ago, but only a few fossils have been preserved for scientists to study. Cats are the purest from of carnivore, their staple diet consists mainly of meat. They belong to the mammalian order carnivora, in which their closest relatives are hyenas, civets and mongooses. Modern big cats are divided into two informal groups the small cats and big cats, five belong to the genus Panthera, while two, the clouded leopard and cheetah, are lone representatives of other groups. The cheetah in particular appears to be a special case. Generally considered to be the most characteristics that set it apart. For example, its claws are short and blunt and cannot be fully retracted into the paw. Creature comparisons Lions, leopards and cheetah have extremely muscular bodies with powerful hind legs, suitable for running and pouncing on prey. All three big cats have a broad face with a short snout, a combination that makes for an enormously powerful bite. 
They have forward-facing eyes, which give them the ability to judge distances to perfection when climbing or lunching an attack. The tail long and, in most species, survive as a counterbalance when running or climbing. All big cats have excellent night vision. A reflective layer at the back of the eye helps make the most of all available light and the pupils are capable of huge dilation, allowing the animal to hunt efficiently in the dark. The cat's canine teeth match the distance between the vertebrae are easily severed. Unlike the hooked close of the lions and the leopards, those of cheetahs short and blunt and cannot be fully retracted into the paw. They are used mainly for gripping when the cheetah is running at full speed. Lion, going for the kill. Lions normally hunt and kill animals much larger than themselves, and they achieve this by working as a team. Usually it is the females that hunt, male lions are able to catch and kill their own food and those living outside of a pride are forced to do so to survive. Pride males, however, devote their efforts to defending the group territory. Hunting normally takes place at night, since darkness increases the element of surprise. Just as humans in a team work to their individual strengths, in most hunts, each of the female lions take a part has a well-rehearsed role. Experienced females select the prey and stalk it, while the younger, faster lionesses from an ambush towards which the intended victim will be driven. It may take us several lions to bring the prey to the ground, but only one to actually kill it, with savage bite to the throat. Once the kill is made, the lions feed according to a strict hierarchy, the males arrive soon after the kill and eat first, followed by the females and their cubs. Leopard, going for the kill. Leopards are solitary predators, equally at ease hunting by night or day. Cheetah, going for the kill. While most cats are nocturnal predators, cheetahs hunt by day to avoid competition from other cats. Their staple diet of a wide range of animals, including hares, game birds, gazelles and antelopes. Equipped with binocular vision and great speed, the solitary cheetah stalks its prey up close, saving its incredible acceleration for final sprint. This lasts just 20 to 30 seconds, during which time the cheetah reaches speed of up to, and exceeding, 110 km per hour. Having caught the prey, the cheetah pushes it to the ground and takes a firm hold of its throat. Maintaining pressure long enough to suffocate the animal is only possible because the cheetah has very large nostrils, and it can breathe deeply enough to recover from its run with its mouth clamped shut. Cheetahs are often left exhausted by their sprint chases, and they to work harder for their food than most other big cats. Cheetahs have to eat quickly, as eating on the ground in daylight makes them vulnerable to other predators in search of an easy meal. Life cycle. Lions are only true social cat species. They live in groups called prides, consisting of several related females, their offspring and one are usually more males. The males are related to one another but not to the females. A coalition of males usually retains control of pride for two or three years, before they are ousted by a younger, stronger team. Cheetahs live alone or in small family groups, either a mother and her cubs or band of siblings. Life is tough for solitary cheetahs. They tend to be nomadic, wandering from place to place, driven by resident cheetahs, frightened away by larger carnivores, or simply forced to move on in search of food or mates. Cubs are born at all times of year, usually in litters of three to five. Mortality is high, though and the mother can do little to protect her young except remain vigilant and move them at the first sign of trouble. Baby cheetahs have a cape of long hair that stands up all along their backs and provides excellent camouflage in long grass. Leopards are the most solitary of the bog cats. Individuals live in large home ranges, the central part of which is guarded as a territory that no other leopard can enter. This area includes a number of safe havens, usually trees or rocky outcrops. Females normally rear young in litters of two or three and the cubs spend about 18 months with their mother, learning the skills they need to survive.
Save big cats. Most African countries offer some kind of legal protection for the big cats living in wild, but such laws can be difficult to enforce, especially in poor or remote areas where people simply ignore or break the law without being caught. In a number of tourist locations exotic souvenirs made from big cat's body parts may be offered for sale. Use common sense when buying such products and help to protect African wildlife by reporting traders to local authorities. So, if you think this is an important video don't forget to subscribe our channel, share and like.